Okay, this. This is good pizza. Light dough, crispy. Feels heavy, tastes light. The perfect bend. A nice 45 degrees, I'd say. Crust fragments with a reasonable pull. The sauce to cheese ratio is very agreeable. Reminds me of that pizza we had in the Toronto job. Ooh, that was good pizza. Mm, but not as good as the London job. I would agree with that. I'll give this a 9.2 out of 10. Mm, generous, I'd say 8.9. Cheers. Cheers. You know, I've been wondering. The perfect pizza. Consider this. I snap my fingers and whoosh. Before you, in all its cheesy, steamy glory, is the most perfect pizza you've ever laid eyes on. Designed by Da Vinci, carved by Michelangelo, made- I get it, you're saying it's good pizza. The best, simply the best. And in your heart of hearts, you know that this is the single greatest pizza to ever have been made. But there's one catch. You can only ever eat it once. Never again? Correct. So I only eat the perfect pizza once? Correct. But then no other pizza will ever compare. And that's my wonder. On the one hand, I eat the pizza, and I live my life knowing I've tasted the very best. I've reached the top. Why wouldn't I? Yes, but life goes on. You'd have to live in the shadow of the world's perfect pizza, ever remembering the taste that you can never have again. It's better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. Possibly. But isn't the journey far more important than the destination? Hmm. Well, I think that... Fellas, time to shine. Not you, him. Things got messy, but never mind me. Who's this? Hey, Antonio. Stop that. He's a hostage. I can see he's a hostage. Why'd you bring him? Things got messy. I very much agree. Well, consider him a problem. He's a loose end. We're gonna have to get rid of him. Please don't. Enough. We'll take care of him later. So, back to our original discussion. Would you eat perfect pizza? The, the perfect pizza? I eat that every day. What? What do you mean? I, I, I am a pizza maker. A pizza maker. Yes, the world's best. You gotta be kidding me. It's true. It is in my blood. Pizza sauce flows through these veins. Ever since he was a young boy, my great grandpappy Filippi Giuseppe Antonio, he make the pizza. He wake. Hey, no, no, no. Sorry, it's my first time being a hostage. Did you say Felipe Antonio as in Naples Felipe Antonio? Yes, the very same. I've heard of this family before. Remember that job we did in Italy? We tried to find the Antonio's pizza place, but it closed down. We left. We, we came here. This guy's legit. He can cook us the perfect pizza. Well, that's unfortunate. What do you mean? He can make us the perfect pizza. He saw us rob a bank. He's a loose end. We gotta kill him. Hey, we gotta kill a guy. Pull over. Hey. All right, pizza maker. It's time to die. Oh, no, 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 pizza. Pizza. no, 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 Wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. If you kill him, you kill the perfect pizza. What about all those pizzas we've eaten? All the places we've been? We could finally eat the perfect pizza. Trust me, I'm doing you a favor. It's not about favors, it's about flavors. Flavors that'll ruin your life. This isn't about loose ends. It's about the perfect pizza, isn't it? Of course this is about the perfect pizza. I don't want to eat it, no one else ever should. I don't want to live in a world where every pizza after this one tastes like Hawaiian. Pineapple belongs on pizza. It's disgusting! I want to eat it. I don't want to eat it. Our life would be complete. Our life would be over. It's better to have loved than lost than never been loved before. Ignorance is bliss. We would have touched the stars. Flew too close to the sun. Perfect pizza? Well, that's to die for.